All right, guys, so in today's video, I just quickly want to tackle a topic that I used to struggle so, so much with when I didn't have the studio version of Resolve, and that is noise reduction. And as most of you already know, noise reduction is a studio version only feature, but there's a workaround how you can reduce the noise in your videos using the free version. And that's what I'm going to teach you today, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're straight in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page right now. And as you see, there is no clip yet. So let's change this. Go to our media pool and just click and drag and drop the clip that you want to use. So this is just a shot from me doing the intro on this channel. So yeah, as you zoom in on those lenses, you'll immediately notice that there is a quite good amount of noise. Also, if you scroll something like there, you see that there is also quite a lot of noise on this gimbal. So let's change that by going into our Fusion tab, just like that. You get your media in one node and your media out one node right there. And let's go to your media in one and hit one on your keyboard to preview this media in one node on the left viewer. And by default, media out one is being previewed in the second viewer. So what we want to do now is go to media in one, hit shift spacebar and search for remove noise. And then just click add. And this will add the remove noise one node. So with this remove noise node selected, let's go to the top right corner where it says inspector and click this. And there you see all the parameters that we can change and that's the softness red, green, and blue, and also the detail red, green, and blue. And that is because um, for this noise removal to work, we have to take care of each individual channel itself. So let's start out by the softness red. So let's change our viewer to the red channel only. And we do this by going into our second viewer and then in the top bar, you see this channel icon. So let's open the drop down menu and change this to the red channel only. Once you've done that, your image becomes black and white, but that is fine. So let's hit control and zoom in to the spot where we got a lot of noise. Let's actually go to the gimbal right here. And now increase the softness of the red channel just a bit, just right around there should be good and now increase the detail back once again just like that and this takes out a good amount of noise on the red channel now let's change our channel to green so we can take care about the green channel as well and now increase the softness of the green channel until your image becomes blurry and you don't see any noise at all but then increase the detail of the green channel once again to a point where you can clearly see some details but don't do this too much because when you do this too much you will just implement a lot more noise than it was before so let's bring this back down just right around here should be fine and then let's take care about the blue channel as well so let's open the drop down menu once again, go to the blue channel. You'll see that there is a bunch of noise in the blue channel. So let's bump up the softness blue and then also increase the detail of the blue channel. Probably just, just like here. And then once we finish this, we can change this back to color. And then we can choose our method from color to chroma. You'll see that there is just a little bit more noise added and that's um, in the softness luma uh, and that's in the luma and chroma channel so let's fix that by adding some softness in the luma channel and then increase the detail of the luma channel as well just a bit and then also increase the softness of the chroma channel right there and then also increase the detail of the chroma channel now let's compare those two shots. So let's go to media in one, go to the left viewer and then zoom in on this gimbal. All right, and then go to media out one in the right viewer and then let's zoom in on the exact same spot and you'll immediately notice that there is quite a big difference. So in the left viewer, we got a lot of noise and in the right viewer, our image is quite a bit softer, but with less noise. 
but don't think your whole image is being completely softed out like completely blurry or whatever if you zoom back out you'll see that the image quality is quite good so yeah this is how you would approach a noise removal in the free version of davinci resolve so guys that is all i got for now i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if so please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to help spread out this video to more people that are interested in that specific topic so that's all i gotta say hope you all have a great day see you in the next one bye